Are you ready to get unstuck? I hope so, because today I'm going to show you how by using hypnosis. I'm Sherry Galvanized, certified hypnotherapist and founder of Galvanized Intention and Galvanized Hypnosis. And I have developed a four-step method for hypnosis. It's called the STIR method. It's right up here. Suggest suggestion, trance, imagination, realization. I'm going to say that again. Suggestion, trance, imagination, and realization. First of all, when we're talking about suggestion, we're talking about a hypnotic suggestion. When we're talking about trance, we're talking about a hypnotic trance. When we're talking about imagination, we're talking about ideas, creativity, innovation, so that you can move from where you are to where you want to be. In other words, you can get unstuck. And then finally, there's realization. Realization is acting as if it's already the truth. You know, when I do hypnosis in my office and I help people quit smoking and they're done with the session, they might not realize it, but they have just become a non-smoker. They're going to realize it when a day goes by, a week goes by, a month goes by and they don't smoke. I want you to get into that mode of realizing that the change has already happened. And I want you to feel it with your five senses. I want you to experience it with your five senses. In some cases, it could be a smell, a sound, a touch, something that you hear, but bring it to life in your imagination and in your body as if it's already the truth. That's the power of hypnosis. So today I am going to share with you a suggestion. Now this is going to be a very general suggestion, but the best suggestion there is, is one that's personalized, especially for you. And I offer that service. So if you want to find out more about it, look at the description of this video. The suggestion that I'm going to share with you today is assuming that you have a general idea that you know what you want to do. But if you don't, well, stick with me. I might be able to help you. And you might also want to think about what is it that is your obstacle from knowing what it is that you really want. So you want to get a little bit of clarity of what it is you want to do. And then this suggestion will help you to move from just think to the point where you get unstuck. Or it could be getting clear on what your obstacle is. But this suggestion can help with either of those things. So hang in there and give this an honest try. The suggestion is, I am clear and receptive. I am ready for my highest good. I am clear and receptive. I am ready for my highest good. I'm going to put that on the screen for you. So first there's the suggestion. You don't just want to have it in your head. You want to internalize it to a certain degree. And part of how you internalize it is by getting into a trance state, a hypnotic trance. A professional hypnotherapist like myself can help you get in a trance state, but also you have been going in and out of a trance state all by yourself without the help of a hypnotherapist. 
I'll give you some examples of how I go into a trance state. Sometimes if I'm staring at a tree and watching the leaves just kind of move in the wind or the branches sway in the wind, and if I really just focus on it, focus on my breath and allow myself to kind of come down a notch or two from anything that might be on my mind or bothering me, I'll find that I get into that trance state. And when you're in the trance state, that's when it's naturally easy for you to move into imagination. It's a daydream-like state where you get, uh, things are a little bit more creative, just like they are in your dreams at night. In your dreams at night, sometimes you come up with things that you don't even know where that came from. That's the power of your imagination. Then you move to the next step, realization. And think about what would it feel like in your body if the suggestion was true? How would you be standing, sitting? What would you be wearing? All those kinds of things. What might be a smell that you would smell because you perhaps would be somewhere. There are certain places that have certain smells like the library has a certain smell and the Starbucks has a certain smell and you get the picture, okay? I am clear and receptive. I am ready for my highest good. I imagine that I would feel very relieved. It's like, oh, I've got to figure it out. I can just relax now. I can just let go. I can chill. I can enjoy it. I can celebrate it but you have to come up with what's right for you. Okay, so how would you use a suggestion like this? Well, a couple things I can think of because I'm a prof professor, I'm going to come up with, first of all, something that a professor would say, like let's say you're getting ready to write a paper and you're like, I don't know what to write it on. And you're all afraid and you're all tensed up and you're all stuck use this technique, suggestion, trance, imagination, realization, and give yourself a few minutes to tap into that part of you that really does know how to get unstuck. So today I've given you a very brief description of the hypnotic technique to help you get unstuck. But sometimes it's really helpful and even a lot more powerful if you have a longer session with a certified hypnotherapist. So of course I offer that service and I also have some videos on YouTube that you can check out. I will put a link for you so that you can go into the hypnotic suggestion session and use a suggestion like the one I just gave you or maybe you'll have a session with me and you'll get a personalized a personalized suggestion. Of course you can also make one up of your own, but I got to warn you, sometimes a person who's not a trained professional ends up making what they think is a good suggestion and really they are suggesting to themselves something that is not going to get them the answer that they want. There are certain aspects of coming up with a good suggestion and I will cover that in future videos. I usually post videos every one, every week. Sometimes there's a break. I'm hoping to be able to pick up the pace a little bit more in these upcoming weeks. I just want to end with a disclaimer that this is not a replacement for therapy. It's not a replacement for any medical treatment that you may be receiving. If you feel better about it or you feel more comfortable, then definitely if you're working with a mental health professional, for example, you can talk to them about this technique. Okay, now as I get ready to close out this video, I just want to share with you a list of some of the areas of hypnosis that I really like to work in and that I have expertise working in. And I'm wondering if maybe you might want to check out this list and uh, request or give me some feedback. Also, if you try this technique that I've just shared with you today, let me know how that goes. Or if you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comments and I'd be happy to answer you.